I'm Ali. I'm Hunter. And we're your producers for today's broadcast. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Good morning, Eagles. I'm Delaney, and this is your Eagles Zone News. Attention seniors, remember that tomorrow is the day to pick up your letters to sell. They will be distributed during all lectures tomorrow. Also remember to get your final transcript and future plan surveys completed. They are due by today. Zoe caught up with Emily to find out more about letters to sell. So Emily, how do you feel about getting your letter to sell? Um, I'm pretty excited, but nervous at the same time. I'm not really sure what I have in there, so it's going to be kind of nerve-wracking to see what I put. So what are you most excited to see? Um, I'm excited to see all the letters my friends wrote me and uh, just how my mindset has changed since 8th grade. Is there anything embarrassing you don't want to see on your letter? Well, it's nothing that's really in my letter that I'm worried about. It's the letters I wrote to my friends because um, I ran out of time, so I just started like just scribbling all the things I wrote for them. All right, thanks, Emily. Now back to the news desk. Thanks, Zoe. All students in grades 9, 10, and 11 who are planning to take an Ivy Tech dual credit course next year must visit their class canvas page to find information on how to fill out a dual credit application for Ivy Tech. Allie is out with Javon for the senior 1v1. What's your favorite planet? Earth. What kind of milk do you drink? 2%. What's your favorite rapper? <laughs> Lil Wayne. And what are your plans for next year? Ball State. <laughs> Thanks, Allie. That's all for your news. Now over to Jared with the sports. Breaking news. The student council and class officers list has been announced. The, the senior class officers are President Mallory Schwer, Vice President Shelby Gillis, Secretary and Treasurer Unfill, Junior class, President Emily Hayes, Vice President Rebecca Thorpe, Secretary Alicia Fields, Treasurer Chloe Ashcraft, Sophomore class, President Lena Bowman, Vice President Gabby Knight, Secretary Grace Flowers, Treasurer Jaslyn Caldwell. Freshman class is still to be announced. Student Council members, Shelby Gillis, Abby Raleigh, Mallory Schwer, Chloe Ashcraft, Cody Dickin, Leighton Parsons, Ava Roberts, Rebecca Thorpe, Iva Witter, Emily Woodson, Lena Bowman, Jaslyn Caldwell, Grace Flowers, Gabby Knight, Nikki Sutherland, and Caden Thomas. Thanks, Delaney. I'm Jared with your sports. Girls Tennis tied an all-time Hoosier Heritage Conference record over the weekend by winning their 11th straight conference title on Saturday. The team beat Yorktown, Shelbyville, and New Pal to finish the league schedule with a perfect 7-0 record. Freshman Gabby Knight went 3-0 on the day as she stepped into the singles lineup due to the absence of the team's number one player. The Eagles are 16-2 and two overall as a team. Brady is with number one doubles team Maggie Maynard and Tyna Dishman, who are 19-1 and one together this year, to see their thoughts. Maggie and Tyna are two studs on the girls' tennis team. I caught up with them to learn about their postseason plans. Tyna, what's your mindset heading into sectionals this week? Um, we just keep working hard every practice, and we're focused on winning and making it back to state. So Maggie, you guys won your 11th straight conference title. How do you guys feel about that? I think it's really cool, especially since no other team has done it. So it's, it's good to be a part of, and I hope we can keep winning. Thanks, ladies. I expect a state title. Good luck. Thanks, Brady. Boys golf placed fourth in the conference tournament Saturday. Riley Bratton and Jake Bilby received all conference honors with 83s. Weather permitting the boys, bo the boys golf team plays tonight at Albany against Cowan. Good luck, boys. All girls interested in playing golf next fall should attend a meeting at 5.30 tonight in room 130 with Coach Fowler. That's all for your sports. Now over to Emily with the weather. Thanks, Jared. We are in for a lot of rain today, so make sure you have your umbrella. As the week progresses, we will be getting some good weather with the temperatures in the 80s. That's all for your weather. Have a good day, Eagles.